positioned in the center of the Middle East, surrounded by 300 million Arabs, sits Israel, barely stretching 8,000 square miles with a population of 8 million people, 6 million being Jews. Israel is the only functioning democracy in the Middle East. Despite violence and relentless opposition to its heritage, people, religion, and economic system, Israel remains a center of innovation with worldwide capital market success and a major contributor to the defense technology that serves its security, as well as America's security needs. Israel established independence in May of 1948, and shortly after the IDF, Israel Defense Forces was born. The surrounding Arab nations refused to recognize the new borders mandated by the United Nations. Five neighboring countries issued an attack on the 500,000 Jews that lived in Israel. This first attack was followed by constant terrorist attacks, as well as the Sinai Campaign in 1956, the Six-Day War in 1967, and the 1973 Yom Kippur War. In the face of these constant attacks by its neighbors, Israel and the United States stand together and share a mutually beneficial relationship that treads deeper than democracy. Despite being heavily outnumbered, Israel, with the support of the U.S., has developed advanced technologies, such as the Iron Dome. At the age of 18, citizens are drafted into the IDF in order to learn how to defend themselves and their homeland. For those that decide to continue to serve the IDF, the weight of the responsibilities are staggering. Here is one story amongst many. I'm an F-15 pilot in the Israeli Air Force. My job is to protect Israel's skyline at any time, any weather, any place. I remember when I went on my first operational mission. The only thing I could think about was doing my job and doing it good. But also I remember I felt very proud to do what I do and to be able to protect my country. I don't feel different from the other uh, pilot men. They give me the feeling that I'm equal and that I'm exactly like them. The only thing different is that after we land, they usually smell bad and I smell good. <laughs> I want to thank the friends of the IDF for being there for us, supporting us, and to give us the feeling that we're not alone. The Friends of the Israeli Defense Forces supports these young men and women in uniform in a number of critical ways and programs. Here are some highlights. IMPACT grants full four-year scholarships to former IDF combat soldiers who come from disadvantaged backgrounds. Lone Soldiers Program Lone Soldiers supports the young men and women who leave their families from all over the world to become proud IDF soldiers. The Dignity Program. With nearly 19,000 IDF soldiers in financial distress, this program provides soldiers in need with special grants, food allowances, and holiday gift vouchers. The Legacy Program. This program supports the thousands of widows, orphans, and family members of fallen soldiers. Here is one story of a family that tragically lost the most important thing a family can lose. Two and a half years ago, three angels knocked on my door. They were the bearers of terrible news. My second son, Eliraz, 32 years old, was killed fighting terrorists in the Gaza Strip. Uriel, my beloved firstborn, a lieutenant in Special Forces Golani, was killed in the battle in Lebanon at the tender age of 22. Not fair for a mother to have to bury two of her sons. I pray to God to allow me to see my grandchildren grow up so that I can tell them about all the young men and women who defend our special nation, the only Jewish nation we have. Without the sacrifice of these sons, 
daughters, soldiers, defenders, first responders, and heroes. The safety of our two nations would not just be compromised, but it would be impossible. It is their job to look after Israel, and it is our job to look after them.